if I'm in the drain pipe right now, here's what's going on. So we have a toilet that comes down here. I'm gonna run it over two bays going down this direction. Then we got the toilet over there. It's gonna come high into this three inch pipe. We've got a sink vanity and a shower right here. It's gonna tie into that three inch going this way. We have another sink vanity and another bathtub, which is gonna tie into this three inch right here and head that way. And that should do it for the vents down here. I have to drain and vent this uh, sink. We got a laundry sink and a laundry washing machine. Then after that, we have our downstairs vanity, toilet, and all that stuff. So looks I think, really good. I think we are golden. For some quick reference, I have my holes cut up here. I got my, this is the vanity. We're actually gonna only do a single sink in our vanity. And then here's the shower. We got our pony wall that we're gonna have tiled on this side with glass going up. Then we got our toilet right here, which will be going down and draining out. And then uh, over on this side here, we've got the kids' bathroom. We've got a sink, which is a dual sink, dual vanity right here. I'm going to come off this and basically do a single line down through and connect in a two-inch line. Um, going down here, and it's going to connect in. I'm going to have to put in a drain pipe over here someplace. Uh, I probably will just run it and not finish it because we don't have the, we don't have the um, bathtub ordered yet. Tell it looks like bathtubs are pretty close, but uh, as far as placement of the drain, but every single uh, manufacturer has its own specs. So it's kind of cool. It is actually pretty cool. It's about 91 degrees outside and um, it's probably 68 or 70 degrees in here, which is cool. It's nice, this insulation is doing a good job. In the wintertime, it's pretty cold, but it does a good job. Uh, in the summertime, also pretty pretty good job of insulating. The concrete floors really help keep it cool in here, which is great. Note that is semi-related, which is plumbing related. I got, on Prime Day, I bought a bunch of stuff. I got my Mana Block uh, PEX manifold. So this is pretty awesome. My PEX manifold has got a bunch of cold lines, bunch of hot lines, and uh, it's pretty awesome. So I'm excited to get this going. The PEX stuff, I should have all my, my materials for PEX this week here. I got a lot of good Prime Day deals on my PEX and crimp systems. Um, and actually looking at Shark Bite PEX on Amazon was a lot cheaper than buying it at Home Depot too. And it was actually the Shark Bite brand of PEX. And you can use that with both the connectors and the Shark Bite connectors. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, gonna get to it right now. I've got my vent pipes and drain pipes, drain pipes and vent pipes, which we'll be running through here. I've learned a ton about venting specifically. It helps the whole plumbing system to breathe. And so you don't just run drain pipes, you run vents so that the column of water pushes the air through. And as it pushes it through, there's air to replace it behind. It doesn't create a vacuum. Like when you hold the straw and then you lift it up and then you let it go, that air allows um, the, the water to fall through. So um, right here, I'm going to be doing drain pipe from the toilet. It's going to run down this direction. We're going to have tie-in from this drain pipe right here, which is a two-inch shower. We have a two-inch um, which is going to go up to a sanitation tee for the vanity, is what I was trying to say. And then we have three inch pipe down here, which it's all running into. So the thing that's kind of difficult about plumbing is that you have to make sure that you have the right amount of drop. It has to be just perfect. Too much drop and the solids will get stuck and the liquids will run out and that'll create it back up. Not enough drop and everything will sit. So you don't want it to sit and you don't want it to be too much or too little. So I have a special level for this that has the um, eighth and quarter uh, angles marked on it so that you just line it up and center it on that and it's the perfect angle. So I'm gonna drain pipe this, strap it every four feet, and the code in my area is an eighth of an inch drop per foot. So that's what I'm gonna be going for and uh, hopefully it goes well. So 
gonna get to plumbing now. Got for today so far, so far we got this three inch drain line. It's going down this way. We're gonna 45 it from this one into this bay. I was gonna do two T's down there, that sanitary T, but changing it out, just a single inlet out there. Um, and then right here, we've got the two inch shower drain P-trap going over here. I didn't get couplings. I need the uh, bathroom sink right there. And then tomorrow we're actually gonna pick up the uh, bathtubs tomorrow from Home Depot. So then I'll have the drain location for the bathtubs. Okay, so I'm back at the plumbing today. It's taking a lot longer because number one, I'm not super confident in plumbing. So I'm finding I have resistance to actually doing it, which is kind of weird. But on top of that, just we are kind of in between stages of um, wiring and plumbing and that kind of stuff. So hopefully here soon, we're gonna be able to um, be ordering a bunch of stuff, getting things just really knocked out quickly. Right now I'm going to be hooking up all the upstairs plumbing um, to this drain, vent it, and then we also got these uh, bathtubs right here. I actually bought the bathtubs so that I could put the drains in the right spot. There's some bathtubs, got two of them. The bottom one is for downstairs. It is a left-hand drain. Top one is a right-hand drain. And then I'm gonna be putting those in right away. So that's hopefully not too much more. I needed, I also needed a three inch 45. So I had to wait until we went to Home Depot to get some. So we got that stuff. Get on how things are going inside here. First off, we have a completed drain line hooked up, which is great. I need to make some adjustments down there with some couplings and junk, but it looks good. Um, I have the right amount of drop, which is great. And then what I'm gonna be doing this weekend is doing some sheeting on this back wall so that I can install my PEX manifold and start running my PEX lines over there. When he's helping me out today. Anyway. So it's going good. See how it goes. Uh, this three quarter OSB was $88 a sheet. It's still so expensive even though futures are coming down. So that's a bummer. Um, Gonna get, gonna get to it right now. All right, so I've got my back wall built. That is, again, I'm just kind of going as I need to. I just need to get to this bay right here for our toilet, our shower, things like that. And then uh, I built these um, boxes so that I can, it's gonna be covered. I think that's gonna be helpful because even though it is insulated in here, it does get pretty cold. And so I wanna make sure to give it extra protection, probably insulate it and wrap it just so that it's extra, extra solid. And then um, also making sure that um, it's supported and running through the, the garage here without needing to actually have, um, you know, drilling through all my joists. Cause I'm using the manifold. There's a lot of pipes and I don't wanna put that many holes in my joists. So, um, it's going good so far, but just, I'm gonna, I started in the bathroom that's right here and I figured I probably should start with the longer runs first um, so that I don't like waste a bunch. So I'm gonna finish this close bathroom, then go to the kitchen, then do the kids' bathroom, then do our bathroom, then do the laundry room. It should be done at that point. So um, I'm learning this PEC system. It's definitely uh, not, super easy but it's not very hard so the thing that's hardest is that it slides around so I'm, it has a tool in this tool it makes it so that you can use this crimping spot right here to make it oval shaped and it makes it so that it doesn't move so I'm using the the metal crimps the brass fittings um, this PEX manifold came with plastic fittings I'm a little bit worried about it because you know it might be Probably should leave extra now that I'm thinking of it. So I probably should leave some extra room in case I need to redo the fittings here. So thinking about this as I'm doing it here, that's a good good thought for sure. It's because I got to pressure test it, make sure I don't have any leaks. It looks really good in my opinion, but um, again, what if what if this leaks or something? I don't know. So something to think about for sure. Okay, so got a lot done today. I think it's looking pretty good. So I, I'm gonna actually build a cover out of plywood for that, with that frame there. I need to attach it a little bit more, but got 
the kids' bathroom done, the downstairs bathroom done, the kitchen sink done. I got to do the laundry room and then the master tomorrow. Overall, PEX is going better than I thought. We'll see when we put water in the system, make sure that there's no leaks and stuff. I got plugs to put in the end of every terminal so that we have the ability to actually pressure test it when the walls are all open and stuff. So, uh, got to get... I'm probably going to need more blue pecs, is my guess. Um, but we'll see what needs to be done. But I think it's looking really good. It's coming along pretty darn fast. Actually, the thing that took the longest was building the boxes to run everything through. I'm going to be covering those up. But I think it looked really good. All right, day two, I'm pulling some pipe through, uh, getting the shower, master bathroom done. I think I'm going to run out of blue pecs, which is a bummer. But... Uh, yeah, I think I don't have enough blue pecs. Probably need about another 150 or 200 feet. So that's a bummer, but I'll get some tomorrow. Um, Sunday, everything's closed on Sundays, except for Home Depot. But right today, there's a bad fire, so we're not going to go and get stuff. I need to get half-inch pecs. I need to get my one-inch pecs line, and then just keep keep connecting everything and keep working on stuff. So it's going good, though. Um, everything is going really good. Hey, we went to Home Depot today, and we got a bunch of stuff. Getting tons and tons of stuff. I got a new hot water heater. This thing's a beast. However, it had been opened already and it was broken. And there was water in the tube, which is a bummer. So trying to get everything organized and in place. We're starting to get a lot of stuff done right now. So we got a wash basin for the garage. It's like a shop sink that I'm building right now. And then cleaning up, putting boxes in, doing all kinds of good stuff. So it's going really good. So we have our inch one inch line coming into the shop down here i took the plug out i put a pex line in coupling that's almost done and then we are gonna turn on this valve right now and hope that the pex manifold doesn't leak are you ready bennett it's on so far so good it made a noise over there water's coming through we hear it Filling up the water heater. Yeah, that's right. Oops, are you okay? That's really good, Ben. No problems yet. I hear noises. One second. Wait. I feel like these are probably filling up. We're seeing if there's any drips. The water's turned off? Yeah. All right, so today's project, I've got this bad boy. So, getting really, really close to being done with everything. And we got this bad boy, which is a diesel compressor. I got a fan up here, so I'm gonna park it inside the, inside the garage. So it's gonna be spewing diesel exhaust in here. But what I need to do here is, I'm gonna show you. We have the rough opening for the bathtub and toilet are too close together. I'm going to show you what I mean. There's our toilet and there's our bathtub. Right there it looks pretty good, right? Nice, nice, nice reveal. There's a problem right there though. Our toilet flange is about eight inches too far towards the tub. And this is actually a narrow, narrow toilet bowl that I got. So got to take the jackhammer, break this out in this direction and move this over. Nearly done with everything. We're so close. We are so close. It's just like those final punch list items that just take a little bit of work and all the details. So. All right, we are so close to being done. It is insane. Right now I've just got to finish. There's literally only like four things left to do. I got to finish the drain vents. We got to finish the rough in plumbing fixtures, which we need to actually have the, we need to do a little bit of adjustment to them, but they're, almost ready to go. I need to put this HVAC 
walled unit up, this mini split. And then I gotta put in the uh, vent for the range hood vent opening. And that's it, we are done with the rough framing. I cannot believe it. I'm gonna finish today, I hope. We'll see, we'll see how this goes, but man, we are so close. We're ready to get moving. Once